guys, thanks for watching another episode of Cindy's Kitchen. How is everybody doing? I'm Cindy. Hey. Behind the camera is Michael. Howdy, partners. The puppies are in the living room watching TV. <laughs> and uh, this is my little kitchen here. And uh, before we made a video, and my, I noticed Michael was telling mom, tell everybody what this is for. It's just to align my back a little bit. Because I'm having problems with my upper back. And I was told that I have scapular winging on this side of my back. That's right. Shoulder, so some of like uh, ribs are protruding and it looks like some of my back is sticking out and I don't want to have a hunch. That's right. So this is for that, so I can, you know, they told me you gotta try to, I can correct them with exercise and I got this too, so I can walk a little bit more straight. Cause I was like, sometimes you're like, you know, with all the things that we're doing today. So anyway, we came back and I told Michael, we have some chicken and we have some steak. Let's make, some chicken and steak. All right. So I put some, uh, this is my um, sugar. Some sugar on the oil. Sugar, I'm on sugar. This, and I'm gonna move it like this. Hold on a second. Michael, back up because you don't want to get up. it. I'm gonna move it like this because what I, wanna, I, what I want is for the sugar yes. to get a little bit, you know, brown over here. So I'm gonna get it brown and I put the steak and the chicken that I have here. That's right. It will color. It'll start coloring oh, like look very at that, fast. everybody. So as you can see, I only season this with salt. One yes. tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, but I crack it, it's cracked thing. Crack it up, Oregano crack it up. And sazon goya. All right. So it's all together, as you can see. Time to so throw it I'm in. That do, sugar's looking pretty brown. I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna lower this. Back up, Mike. Back it up, back it up. Start putting oh. the meat right on top of that oil. All right. And what I'm gonna is I'm gonna spread it That's right. around the oil that I have here in this pan. Okay, this is my big caldero that I use. That's cook, right. And I love this caldero. Yes. So, like I told you guys, this was uh, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of, of pepper, of cracked pepper, one tablespoon of oregano, put it in my hand, and then Right? Dust and it up, it's, dust um, it up. Sazon Goya, but this is a different one. It's not that salty, but it has more seasonings. So you can find this at the supermarket, at any supermarket of your, uh, of your, choosing. of your taste, of your choosing. That's exactly. right. So, okay. So that's on. We're going to oh, leave that look on look at high. that, look at that. And, and then what we're going to do is. Yes. I'm going to start turning it right now. Turn it up, turn mm -hmm. it up. Because you see, it starts browning right away. Already? Of course, because the sugar, what it does is the brown sugar yes. browns both sides. The meat, no, browns the meat. It will brown both sides. Yes. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it because I do have the stove on high. That's so right. The only reason it's not going faster is because it's cooking a lot of meat at the same time. Yes. You see? So what I'm gonna do now. What are you gonna do? I took three cloves three. of garlic and I chopped them up. You see? Chop it so I'm gonna take all this garlic. And I'm gonna put it all around this. Give yep. it that garlicky flavor. Yep. Just you know, you gotta put your flavors you know, in there. You got flavor. So I'm gonna put all that garlic in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. See that, Michael? It's oh good, yeah. Right. Already oh, looks good. Starving. I know. Me too. Uh, we made eat. some corn, right, Michael? That's right. We made some corn for me and Michael. Some platanos. Some platanos. These are some tree plantains. Some corn, everybody. We boil them. They use some corn with salt mm. and pepper. Sweet, sweet corn. We have a good dinner tonight. And as you can see, as you can see, the sauce. Yes. As it's starting, you see how it's starting to get like brown. Sauce it up. Sauce it up. So, so what we're gonna do is, yes. Before I turn that and put, I cut. Two little onion, red onions, because I didn't have the big one. Wow. I actually uh, like, prefer red onions over yeah, white yeah. onions. They were this size, it's like medium. I took two of these red ones. That's right. And I cut them up, and then I took, these are mild peppers. These peppers Patch are peppers. Mm -hmm. this pepper. These peppers grow, oh my gosh, in the Dominican Republic. They have a mild, and they come hot. The hot ones, you gotta be careful. Make sure that when you open them, you take the seeds and throw them out. Because sometimes the spicy ones, the seeds, it will blow out of this up. world. It will make it like very, very spicy. It will blow up um, your food. That's right. Okay. So as you can see now, I'm going to turn again. Turn it up, turn it up. Hey, I think Teddy can smell the food and ginger. I wish they could be like an amp for like the smell of the food. Smell of it. So you 
can it can be downloaded along with the food. And you should be like able that. to smell the flavors in this and video. You can smell. I wish you guys could smell. Yeah, right, Mike? Yeah, Mama. That good idea. Like, right? Let's patent that. We should. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. Turn it okay. down, turn it down. So I don't like that, so what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to take all this red onion that I cut. Hold okay. on. We're going to put it on the top like this. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And you know, you got to, not to forget to uh, taste the food. That's right. It's very important. And we're going to take that pepper. This is mild, but it has a little kick. A spice. Hit that like button. Yep. You're still here yeah, watching the video. Now. We're gonna put, I have jalapeno. Check. I have jalapeno in the in the fridge, but I want to put some jalapeno dust. Oh, my powder, that's a brown, kicker. Ground jalapeno. It's very hot. And I like what it. What you're gonna do? I can smell that. Mm. You see? Me too. And I'm gonna pour it all over on the top. You know the, the, those restaurants you go to, and they have all that smoke on the so on the is, platter. So you have five spices that we're putting here. Yes. Salt, pepper, oregano. Yes. Check. Jalapeno. Check. And sazon goya. Yes. Okay? With the green cow. That's right. Now what we're gonna do, oh that smells really good, Michael. Oh yeah. Oh, and you know, five seasoning and one more stick. And we are gonna put some apple cider. Vinegar. Okay, vinegar, but not right now. We gotta Later. wait until all this, yeah, well like in a couple of minutes. That's right. You know? Can you hear that? Oh yeah. Okay. So there's just chicken and steak. I'm telling you, this smells. Not steak amazing. and chicken. Chicken and chicken steak. steak. That's oh right. Oh God, that smells real pretty. Huh? Oh yeah. Huh? Look at it, it's smoking. Okay. So, I'm gonna let it, I want it to brown a little bit more and then it's almost done. So, before we do anything, you know we gotta taste, right? That's right. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of a... Uh, taste test. Oh, you something that is uh, cooked. Almost cooked all the way. Almost. Mm-hmm. Or not like well, it has like five more minutes. I like my chicken. I mean, a lot of people will take it out like this. I don't, because I want to see more color in it. Okay, but I'm gonna go like this with my finger. Take the sausage. It does need mm. a little bit more of salt. Yes. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it like this on the top. Sprinkle there, sprinkle there. And then let's see what else. Oh, and I'm gonna put guys one sazon goya with culantro y achiote. Okay. So that means that it has it has calorie, okay? And the achiote is, uh, I'll show you real achiote that I have, but you gotta put it like in water, and then you have to let like that water uh, turn into that orange color. That's right. And that's what achiote is, that's why this is that color. And uh, I just wanna show you, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm lying whatsoever about it. So I'm gonna do this with this real quick here. What are you doing? This is a pro, like a children. Oh, yep. That is very colory. Sorry. That's not it. I ran out of the other one. Okay. So as you can see, how that smells, Michael? Smells Talk good. to me. Talk to me, Michael. Smells good, Mom. Huh? And we move it like this. Oh yeah. And now what are we gonna do? Apple cider vinegar. Splash, splash, baby, right? And I'm, I like to put my two fingers like that in between like the mouth of the, my bottle because that way, uh, you see, I can go like this, as you can see, and it won't like, you know, splash all over in one place. No, now I have it all over the place. That looks really pretty. And in two seconds, I'm gonna get a plate right now. Beautiful. With, uh, with our thing. We got a tray there, like we always do. Excuse me. Yeah, fill me from that side. All right. Time to change things up a little. Yeah, look, look at that. Change it up, change it up. I know you guys are all going to like it. This is done, guys. Yes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to serve a little bit in a plate. Oh, excuse me, Michael. All right. There you go. How do you like oh, that? It looks very oh, pretty, oh, right? Oh, bring it over here. So we're going to put some here. It took me like five minutes, the time that Michael's there. How long, Michael? Ten minutes. 
10 minutes and we made it all together not only but this is for a whole family this is not for one person this guys. is not for one person so average this two is for minutes all of us. and 30 seconds so we separate this in four and you can actually serve this to like five people but look i'm gonna make the things look for everybody each member of my family we're gonna have equal amounts equal share of uh, exactly of steak and chicken i want to put it up here wait so everybody can see it there, how I cooked it, and everybody can see it here, Mike. And I'm gonna let me put a napkin before we go. And uh, while I get the napkin and try to make the plate look a little bit nicer, I want to let you guys know that I'm very happy that I am. Uh, I can actually come out and make these recipes, and maybe someone out there can learn how to make these and make their family happy. That's right. So I'm gonna tell you my family is very happy with everything that I make. That's right. They eat everything, there's no complaints, and I talk every single day. That's right. There's not one day that goes by that I don't make a meal. And with this, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, look for us on Pinterest, on Google Plus, on- um, Tumblr. On Tumblr, I always forget Twitter. Tumblr. I don't know why. I already said Twitter. it's kind of like newish. And then you can scroll down if you have any puppies or cats. And uh, we have the best dog food that money can buy. It's called lifesabundance.com/slash for all. You can click on the uh, link down uh, below. Link down below, and it will take you directly to the website. From there, you know, you decide what you want to do. If you want to get toys, you can get food, you can get vitamins for this shampoo, conditioner. We have everything. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't drink and drive. Let's love each other, and thanks for watching another episode of Cindy's Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoy. Good night.